Hey, what's up my precious boys and girls, my name is Niksha and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, as you can see, uh, we were going uh, to read through the new Dota 2 patch update, uh, which is 6.83, uh, and it's called Shifting Snow Snows update. Alright, uh, before, before we start, I just want to say that um, I didn't record anything in like a month and if you don't know why you have a video on my channel so go go and check it out uh, it's a short vlog um, and I don't know how but I pick up my computer I didn't buy anything new and when I got home I just turned on and he working so nah, I don't know I don't know for now it's good but if you want more details go and uh, look at the, the update uh, that I record uh, I think a week ago and uh, you will know what I'm talking about so in this video let's do some Dota so we have a new patch um, before Christmas of course shifting snows and um, yeah 6.83 so winter map winter's grip um, blah 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 all right, so we will have a winter map like last year, I think. Fantasy Dota Season Two Champion Teleport. Okay, I don't know what that is, but we will find out. I I never look at this update. I never read it, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, okay, we have of course new treasures of the frost uh, frosted flame. We have treasure of the nested case, and we have a Fiji block of frost. So cool! Create a frosty mon monument to your favorite heroes with the new material of uh, for heroic uh, for heroic uh, figures available from the Dota store. Okay, all right. So yeah, it's not a gift. Gift prop. Okay, so let's basically begin. Uh, this is just a little preview, and uh, the gameplay update is next. A general ranked all pick uh, initial planning phase reduced from 40 to 30 seconds. First rune spawns uh, are now bot bounty runes that are twice as effective 50 50 gold experience to 100 to 100 gold and experience. Okay. So the first rune will be bounty runes at the bot side. So that's that's kind of okay. It's going to be a harder first blood, but it's right. All illusion now deal 25% less damage to the structures. So I don't know. Yeah, all illusion. Okay. Melee and range barracks bounty reduced from 352, uh, 370 to. 150 okay that's a lot uh, melee and range uh, range barracks now give uh, 125 and 75 gold to each player okay so it doesn't matter who okay that that's awesome I'm sorry for that uh, yeah that's that's pretty pretty awesome World location to the right of Roshan is now pathable. World clear. Uh -huh. Or, uh, I don't know. I, I need to see map for that. Uh, fixed a world location near the dire ancients that could not be easily seen. Okay. Ancient granite golem health reduced from 2000 to 1700. Uh, Ancient granite golem now has an aura which grant. 50% uh, bonus uh, health to its uh, allies. Private lobby games now use the captain's mode grip spawn timer when in all pick. I don't understand this because I don't play private lobby that much, so I'm sorry. Uh, maximum attack speed increase f uh, from 500 to 600. The primary impact of this is on uh, abilities like Wind Ranger Focus Fire and Ursa Overpower. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. 
The following abilities no longer have restriction when cast on spell immune. Allies uh, Kanka X marks the spot, Magnus Empower, Chain Protector, Living Armor and Warlock Shadow Ward. The following abilities no longer have restriction when cast. Okay. Uh, the tult, tult tip, tool tips for Vanguard, Stone Shield, Poor Man Shield, and Crimson Guard now reflect their uh, internal approximate chance instead of their legacy representation. No actually balance change. Vision and Fog of War uh, can now be any numerical value rather than specific intervals. Previous. Previously it was 0, 64, 1, blah blah blah, okay. Not to read. Oh, that's, that, that's a dog, if you hear. Alright, heroes. Uh, Abaddon. Borrow time duration increase from 3, 4, 5 to 4, 5, 6. Borrow time, okay. Um, it's a buff. Alchemist. Grievous Greed base bonus gold increase from 4, 6, 8, 10 to 6, 8, 10 and 12. Grievous Greed extra bonus gold per stack from 1 to 3, 4 to 3. Grievous Greed max bonus gold from 30 to 12, 20, 28, 26. And Grievous Greed recent kill uh, widow duration increase from 35 to 30. That's a big buff for Alchemist, so now you can farm more. And more quickly. X. Battle Hunger. Hunger. Uh, duration from 10, 12, 14, and 16 to 10 seconds. That's a buff. Battle hu uh, Hunger damage from 15, 20, 25, 30 to 16, 24, 32, and 40. Another buff. Battle Hunger cast range from 900 to 750. Okay, nerf. Battle Hunger movement and slow from 10 to 12 percent, and Battle Hunger mana cost is now always 75 mana. Okay, that's a really really nice buff for Battle Hunger. Okay, Bane a Nightmare cooldown from 15 to 16, 15, 14, and 13 seconds, which is all right. It's not a big difference, but count. Beastmaster. Call of the Wild now allows, provides a hawk and a boar at each level. And each now scales per level. Hawk held from... Uh, okay, it's a little bit nerf, but on the fourth level it's the same. Uh, hawk movement speed is um, nerfed as well. Hawk day sights from... Okay, it's... Um, buffed. Uh, Hawk uh, Knight sights from... okay it's a buff. Hawk kill bounty from 30 to K it's kinda... is this buff or nerf? I, I really don't know. Boar health from... <laughs> okay boar have zero health. <laughs> Was having zero health on the first level now he have 200 so it's it's a buff. Yep. But on the fourth level is the same. Everything, almost everything on the fourth level is the same. But that's okay. Uh, boar base damage is increased. Boar base attack time from. Um, okay, okay. So, so now it's always 1 second 25. Boar poison slow is increased as well. Blood seeker added to captain's mode. Blood Rage no longer amplifies outgoing damage, in the damage has uh, the no reflection flag. So we have a question mark here. This is similar This is similar to how Blade Mail spice, uh, spiked carapace fatal bonds uh, and sexual work. Okay. Bounty Hunter, uh, track bonus gold for uh, self increased from... Oh, nice. Nice buff. Uh, check cooldown reduce to f what? <laughs> what? Okay, okay, that's a big buff for a uh, bounty hunter, and it, oh my god, you can earn so much gold now with bounty hunter. It's it's awesome. Only four seconds, you can check. So you can check actually two heroes. 
uh, in eight seconds and uh, if we look the old track uh, the cooldown was 10 seconds so in that 10 seconds you can track two heroes instead of one and that's pretty pretty awesome you can track entire team in 20 seconds wow that that is cool brewmaster base armor reduce from 4 to 2 uh, thunderclap hero slow duration from 425 to 4 thunderclap cooldown from 12 to 13 uh, bristleback quill spray uh, stack damage increased oh my god Okay, Broadmother, Spider Leaks, Day Vision reduced from. Okay, it's a little nerf. Chaos Knight, Reality Rift damage increased from. Okay, it's a buff. Reality Rift mana cost from. It's a buff. And Phantasy Illusion duration increased from 34 to 42. Okay, Chen. Uh, Test of Fate now teleports all of your units to you when cast on yourself has the same delay as when cast on ally heroes oh, okay holy uh, holy persuasion max units increased from okay clinks base attack uh, range increased from 600 to 630 oh my god why <laughs> okay clockwork battery assault damage increased from 1535 5575 to 20 40 60 and 80 buff Wow, I don't know, but uh, for now, the all heroes has almost it's eighty percent buff. But we will see. Crystal Nova attack speed slow from thirty to uh, twenty to thirty. Um, Frostbite cooldown from ten to ten, nine, eight, and seven. Freezing field duration increased from seven to ten seconds. What the fuck? Freezing field explosion. Uh, spawn radius and slope radius increased by 150 and freezing field explosion damage radius increased by 50 so another buff dark sphere base armor increased by one and va vacuum pull duration increased from wow it's a big difference what the fuck uh, dazzle base attack range increased from uh, 500 to 550 that profit strength grow re uh, reduced from 2.2 to 1.9. Uh, Disruptor uh, glimpse mana cost rescaled from. Okay, so now it's always 100 mana. Glimpse cooldown reduce. Okay, another buff. Kinetic field cooldown reduce. Another buff. And static storm cooldown from 85 to. Okay, so it's kind of it's kind of balanced. Um, yeah, it's uh, eight five seconds now. Always, uh, Dragonite El uh, Elder Dragon form level three now maintains the corrosive breath ability from level one and two. Ha! Uh, Drawer Ranger Illusion now benefit from the Marksman bonus. Illusion will still lose the bonus if an enemy is nearby. Okay. Earth Spirit. Rolling Boulder no longer reduce attack speed by 80 for 2 seconds. Rolling Boulder no longer does an additional 45 damage when used with a stone remnant. And Rolling Boulder base damage increase from 19 to 100. Okay. Earth Shaker. And uh, enchant totem ma uh, mana cost reduced from 50 to 20, 30, 40, and 50. That's cool. Uh, Elder Titan Aster spirit, spirit damage reduced from. Oh, it's a nerf. Fixed a few cases where Elder Titan could move his Aster spirit while casting Echo. Stomp. Uh -huh. Enchantress, base movement speed increase from, alright, face, faceless void, time walk no longer slows attack speed, uh, chronosphere cooldown increased, ah, again, uh, ward unit type are no longer able to attack while inside the chronosphere, ward unit types, okay, so you, you cannot uh, throw the chrono, and then with, uh, with, 
let's say witch doctor you put ult uh, ultimate in the chronosphere uh, you need it to put outside the chronosphere to work okay gyrocopter um, call down area of effect increase from um, 450 to 6, uh, 6 uh, uh, hundred call down missiles one slow amount reduced from 50% to 30% call down missile the slow amount increased from 20% to 60% force staff can uh, now be used on homing my missile Husker inner vitality base health region from 2, 4, 6, and 8 to 10 and inner vitality region bonus when hurt from what the fuck it's buffed why you buffed Huskar? EO or we wisp no longer requires turning to perform any actions okay Jakiro liquid fire damage reduce gets a little nerf juggernaut base agility increase from 20 to 26 which is nice blade dance critical strike ch chance rescaled from 15, 20, 25, 35 to 20, 25, 13, 35. It's a buff. It's not a rescale. It's a rescale only. Yeah, no, no, it's a buff. Keeper of the Light. Chakra magic. <laughs> mana cost from. Chakra magic mana cost from. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's. Um, it's a buff. Uh, bending lights blind duration increased from th the 345 to 456 seconds Kanka so we have only one uh, skill um, X X marks the spot enemy delay from 1 to 3 4 to 4 and ally delay from 2 4 6 8 to 8 X marks the spot cast uh, range is increased X mark the spot cooldown from its decrease but is the buff X marks the spot to return mana cost reduced from 50 to 0. Le Shrek, Diabolic Edict duration increased from 8 to 10 seconds. Lightning Storm slow duration increased. Lightning Storm cost uh, range increased from 700 to 800. Uh, it's buff. Lich, Chain Frost cooldown from. Okay, it's. Okay. 75 seconds less on the first level. 25 seconds on the second level and third level is 60 seconds uh, life stealer in fact yeah in fact now allows you to control the unit you are in using a sub ability what control allows you to take control of the unit you are investing including their abilities if you take control of a unit it will maintain its cover however it will become attackable by your enemy Control units share lifestyles movement speed cannot be used on here. Okay, okay. So basically, now you can go and invest in some neutral creep or creep, and you can actually control that creep. Wow, it's awesome. Cannot be used on heroes, of course. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I love that. Lina, attack. Projectile speed from 900 to 1000. Dragon slave damage increased. Nice. Dragon slave mana cost increased. Okay, it's five more mana. Light strike ray damage rescaled from. Okay, this is this is balanced. Uh, light strike array uh, ray mana cost increased from. Okay. So it, it's five more. It's five more mana. It's not a big deal. Light strike area stun duration increase. Oh, and, and stun is increased. Fairy soul duration increased from nine to ten. Wow, I I I really love Lina. So I really love this little buff. Line base uh, base attack damage increased by seven. Ooh, nice. Mana drain. Uh, mana drain drain. <laughs> mana drain drain. Intervals from. What the fuck. It's an instant. Kills illusion on the first tick. Okay. Long Druid. Remove the cast time on Spirit uh, Bear's return. Battle Cry cooldown increase from 30 to 60. Battle Cry duration reduced from 8 to 6. Battle Cry bonus damage increased. Wow. 
60 damage and we have here 100 nice battle cry bonus armor increase to what the fuck 6 and 15 that's almost 10 10 armor okay that's a big buff for long druid luna moon glaive level 4 bounces increase from 5 to 6 eclipse beam count increase from 4 7 and 10 to 5 8 and 11 scepter increase from oh my god 14 ellipse beams with the agony scepter i love it meepo divided we stand respawn time reduced now 20 percent instead of 10 20 and 30 percent okay morphling adaptive strike stun max duration increased from wow it's uh, almost one and a half second it's pretty good uh, of course on the fourth level night stalker base attack damage increase by four clipping fear mana cost reduced from 19 to 50 darkness now sets all enemy vision to a maximum of uh, 675 instead of reducing by 25 percent uh, this includes wards buildings and etc darkness no longer pauses the day night time hmm really 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 big nerf shut the fuck up darkness duration from 40 60 80 to 50 darkness cooldown reduced from okay so the cooldown is reduced which is okay but you cannot pause day night timer anymore ogre magi fire blast damage reduced from 60 okay it's reduced nerf fire blast cast range reduced from 600 to 475 outward devour astro imprisonment intelligence steel increased and astro imprisonment intelligence steel duration reduced from 6 to 50 okay phantom assassin cop the grace critical strike damage from okay so on the first level it's 20 percent second level is 10 percent and the third level is the same phoenix supernova attacks required to destroy increased from 5 7 10 to 5 8 and 11 fixed stop is dive ability sometimes being interrupted by out auto attacks Budge. mid hook range increase wow so on the fourth level is the same but on the first level is actually 1000 and it's it's yeah it's pretty 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 good pagna uh decrypify movement slow on allies reduced from 50 percent to 25 percent nether world attacks required no destroy increased from three to four Blade mail no long, longer reflects neither war damage on the Pugna. Pugna, whatever. Queen of Pain, blink range increased. Oh, now it's always 1300. What the fuck? Blink cooldown from. Mm hmm. So actually, on the fourth level, is the same six seconds. Sonic Wave now does pure damage and affects spell immune. Nice. Sonic Wave damage reduced from. Okay, it's really reduced. Scepter reduced from. Okay, it's really, really big nerf for a Sonic Wave damage. Ricky. Uh, Blink Strike max tra uh, charges increase from 345 to 456. Blink Strike. Charge restore time increase from 30 to 35. Blink strike bonus damage is increased by. No, it's on the first level is 10 damage less. On the second level is the same, and on the third level is 10 damage more. Rubik fade bolt mana cost from 150 to 1 to 1, uh, 120, 30, 40, and 50. So. Uh, Okay, Scepter spell still cooldown reduced from 5 to 2. Shadow Fiend, Shadow, sh shadow Rays damage increased from... Ooh, nice. Little little damage, little buff on Shadow Fiend. I love it. Silencer, 
Uh, Glaives of vis Wisdom Intelligence into Damage Bonus from... Okay, it's increased. Last Word Cooldown Reduce. And Scepter Global Silence no longer increased duration by one second. Sky Red Mage, Base Agility reduced from 18 to 13. Uh, Slardar Spirit Duration reduced from 20 to 16. Spirit Cooldown reduced from 28 to 23. And Amplify Damage Cooldown reduced from 10 to 5. Slark Pounce Damage reduced from... Okay, it's reduced. It's a nerf. A little nerf. Sniper Sharpen no longer does damage to buildings. Sharpen now has 3 uh, charges with a 40 seconds re replenish time. Sharpen slow and damage does not stack with itself. Sharpen mana cost reduced from 1 to OK. And Sharpen duration increase from 9 to 10. Spirit Breaker. Empowering haste cooldown from 20 to 16. Storm Spirit. Turn rate improved <laughs> from okay, 0 0.6 to 0 0.8. Sven. Work ride duration increased from 7 to 8 seconds. Uh, Scepter God Strange ally bonus damage from oh my god 100% oh yeah added to captain's mode that is uh, land mines damage increased oh my god why don't buff that is <sighs> terror blade reflection cast point reduced from 0 0.5 to 0 0.3 and sunder minimum HP from okay so now it's always 20% Tight Hunter, base movement speed reduced by 5. Okay, Ravage damage reduce. Okay, it's it's a nerf. It's a big nerf. Tinker, heat seeking my mm, uh, missile damage increased from a fuck fuck you thing. Oh, I hate Tinker. Tiny toss duration increased from 1 to 1.3 seconds. Grow. Move speed bonus rescaled from 20-40-60 to 45-50-60. Shrink protector. Eyes in the forest overgrow damage increased from 135 to 175 per second. And eye in the forest cool, uh, cooldown reduced from 55 to 25. Troll warlord. Fixed uh, fever stack counting uh, count being one stack too slow. Tusk. Ice shards pro uh, projectile speed from 900 to 1100. Ice shards shard duration from 5 to 7 seconds and World's Punch is now an enemy target ability and is auto uh, auto castable. World's Punch cooldown reduced from 25 to 20 50 to 20 60 12. Uh, Undying Soul Rip uh, Soul Rip max units from 5 10 15 and 20 to okay it's buff Soul Rip damage heal per unit from another buff. Uh, from 25, yeah, it's a buff when you have 3rd and 4th level. Tombstone armor increased by 1. Flash golem max low increased from 15 to 20%, oh my god. Vengeful, uh, Vengeful spirit, wave of terror cooldown increased from 15 to twel uh, 20. Visage, graveskeeper cloak recovery time from 12, 10, 8, 6 to 6. Warlock, um, fatal bond cast. Range increase from 800 to 900. Fatal bonds radius increase for uh, from 575 to 700. And wind ra wind ranger power shot travel range increase from mm, that's nice. Power shot max damage is now dealt after one second channel instead of 1.7 uh 0.7. It's always channel two. Okay. Sorry for that. Uh, power shot cast point improved from to zero seconds. Okay. Uh, reduce the area of the lingering vision of the end of power shot from 800 to 400. Focus fire attack speed bonus increase from 400 to 500. <sighs> yeah, it's cool. Items. Animal career cost reduced from 150 to 112. Okay, oh, that's nice. That's 30 gold more. If you play support, you're gonna love this. Armlet recipe cost reduced from 600 to 500. Blink dagger. Uh, blink is no lo longer disabled if you take no damage. 
Spiral reflection. Okay, that's cool. Bottle. A courier carrying a non full bottle will always be slowed. Instead of only slowing when carry, carrying an empty bottle. Broadsword. Replace talisman of evasion with broadsword in the side shop. I, I don't get it. Replaced talisman of. Okay, okay, I got it. So you cannot buy talisman of evasion in the side shop now, but you can buy broadsword. broadsword. Okay, I got it. Uh, circlet, cost reduced from. Oh, that's a 20 gold less. No talisman rate band. Embracer recipe, cost increased by. Two. Oh my god, it's, it's the fucking same shit, but it's okay. Clarity, mana restored increased from 135 to 150. Crimson guard, um, guard duration increased from 9 to 10. Diffusion blade, diffusion blade is no longer a unique attack modifier. Multiply mana break types abilities do not stack. Drums, uh, endurance charge increased from 5 to 6. Oh, cool. Uh, Earl Scepter of Divinity, Divinity Risk Cost increased from 500 to 650. Healing Slave now will uh, cost 5 gold less. Helm of Dominator, Dominated Units bonus health increased from 250 to 500. Ooh, nice. Magic Wand. Max charge increased from 15 to 70 charges. That's like. Uh, 70 equals 15 it's a lot medallion of courage recipe cost increased from 200 to 325 uh, valor can now be cast on allies to give them armor passive armor and exchange armor increase to 6 to 7 pipe uh, recipe cost reduced from 900 to 800 uh, barrier duration increased from 10 to 12 nice Refresher, cooldown increased, uh, 10 seconds more, you're gonna need to wait. Shadow of Amulet, cost reduced from uh, 1600 to 1400. Your movement is now only interrupt when the invisibility starts re rather than when you cast it. Okay, let's read the additional changes gameplay. When, specta uh, when spectating a game with the team's fog war selected, you now only see what they can see in world and on the minimap. This applies to player perspective as well. Improved server stability under UDP packet fluid, attack by moving packet processor off of the game thread and onto work worker threads. Added a sound effect that players when uh, when San Sanj and Sanjay Asha Main, pr uh, main prods on the attack. I don't get this at all. Alt click. Alt clicking now works on passive and unlearned abilities. You can now alt click your own and your enemy's health and mana bars to announce the curtain health and mana. <laughs> if you alt click an item or ability but do not have enough mana, the amount of mana need, uh, needed will be shared. You can now alt click buffs and debuffs on your hero to announce them to your team. That's just too much information. Uh, alt clicking now works from items without activation, such as age, uh, ages of the immor uh, immortality, immortal. Fuck, sorry. Uh, alt click uh, abilities that are ready now also includes the level of ability. Alt clicking on dead enemies icon in the top bar will announce that they are dead and when they will respond but you can see that okay uh, alt clicking your respawn timer announce your uh, your respawn time to your team <sighs> alt clicking on the glyph button will announce in status and control alt clicking uh, the the button the button will suggest not using the glyph yet okay that's smart Alt click on the glyph, don't use it. That 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 is good. But who will listen? Come on. Alt clicking an enemy battle now show what rune is inside of it. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty cool.
this is pretty cool but I don't get it just a few of those but okay bug fixes uh, fixes for several uh, several effects being erroneously visible through the, the fog of war uh, fix the case where users uh, had very large control group setting files which was causing long delays after selecting their hero some users in this situation have had their control groups reset fix is not being able to taunt sometimes after using a prediction char fix that effects not playing workshop uh, fix not being able to edit uh, P uh, psf file particle files when launching dodgy 2 with tools or Dope 4. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for the shifting snow update. Um, it's kinda, I don't know, I don't know what to say, but the overlay at the end, I can say that the 80% of this update is buffed. Uh, we have three huge nerfs on uh, one is on Night Stalker, Tide Hunter, and I, I, I don't know. I can remember the third one, um, but I really, I, um, I really can't wait to see the snow, the winter map. Winter's grip has tight team, causing the river to ice over as depending snow settles upon the forest path. Yeah, the battle rage is on. Hero must now brave the bitter cold of day and the freezing dark of night. Each ice chipped tower that uh, shatters every. Uh, shivering creep that dies on the field becomes another step toward victory it's a nice description for the winter map uh, but um, I, I'm, I'm not sure when this update is going to be released um, I don't see any information about that just let me read about gift prop uh, it is the season of uh, giving a uh, purse gift wrap from the Dota store, then use it on any bundle, courier or wearable item to create a present for your favorite fellow warrior. You can even add, add a note to your <laughs> recipe after the gift has been wrapped. You can use the gift to send it anyone on your friend list, or give it to your friend by trading it through Steam. Gift wrap will be available at Dota store until January 12th. 2015. Okay, so guys, buy me a gift for a Dota, and I will be happy. And yeah, uh, just kidding. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know when this patch is going to be um, available to, to download, of course. Uh, I hope soon because I really, really, really want to see the winter map. Uh, the last year I play only, I think, one or two matches, I didn't be so active. Um, in Dota 2, so I didn't actually enjoy in winter map, but this year I will. Um, that's pretty much it. About my my channel and my recordings, um, I'm thinking about I don't know to continue with Amnesia or not, and uh, or to make just update and talk about it. Uh, we will see, but. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching um, this update. If, if you have any question or whatever, just leave in the comment section below and I will answer or help you. Uh, I'm here for you guys. Remember that. Um, something I, I wanted to say. Yeah, thank you very much for support. You guys are awesome. Uh, thank you for, for everything. I really appreciate that. And um, yep. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, I hope that my PC is not going to die and um, I hope I'm going to buy a new motherboard and power supply. Um, yeah, go and watch the update. I don't want to bother you with this. Anyway, thank you one more time guys. I really appreciate every support you gave me and I'm going to see you in the next video. Stay awesome guys. Love you all. Bye bye. Here. This drone is completely useless, except for the point of view. I mean, when I use lever, 